Is it's an issue we continue to highlight and raise awareness to our Operation Safe Roads. Latest incident happened days ago, taking the lives of three people near the Beeline Highway in Shea. ABC 15's Patrick Hayes is talking to the family of one of those victims. Amelia Rodriguez was one of three people killed in a wrong way crash this last weekend. She leaves behind four kids and four grandbabies. Her oldest daughter tells me she was fun and outgoing. If you go on Facebook, there's just uh, random people adding me and next thing you know, I see pictures of my mom dancing, laughing, like she was just a f outgoing, fun person. And I just want everybody to remember her like that. DPS says a 39 year old man who they believe was likely impaired was driving the wrong way on State Route 87 when he hit an F-150, seriously hurting that driver and killing all three of its passengers, including Rodriguez. DPS telling us Victor Perez Corrales and Jesus Guadalupe Nunez Rodriguez were also killed in the crash. This is not the first time that happened. I know there's multiple incidents and I feel like after the first incident, um, the state, the city should have already, you know, put something in the, I don't know, just they should have done something. According to records kept by ABC 15, this was the 11th major wrong way crash in the valley this year, keeping pace with the tragic pattern we've seen for years. Now Rodriguez's family is trying to remember the good times they had, including her youngest son's graduation. I know she was proud. She was happy to see me we could walk the stage. My mom was always supportive. She loved to see us accomplish stuff. The family left now with just their memories and missing their loved one. Everything. Being able to even hug her, kiss her, talk to her, there's a lot of things. I'm going to miss my kids being able to see their grandma. I know my son's going to ask for her, and it's just going to be hard when I, when I give him the news. As for the driver, he remains in the hospital. We expect to learn his name and the charges he's facing once he's released. Reporting in Mesa for Operation Safe Roads, I'm Patrick Hayes. Thank you, Patrick. Our Operation Safe Roads team is determined to help make Arizona roads safer for you. If you see an issue you think needs to be addressed, please email us at road at abc15.com.